Howdy folks. I know it's been a while since my last update. I haven't really been doing a whole lot with the Arduinos or anything. I played a little bit with the DCC++, but lately I've been playing with these ESP32 boards. Um, I found out about these about a year ago, and I've been sort of hacking around with them, getting used to how they behave, um, and seeing how I would use them for my mesh network instead of the Arduinos and the HC12s because I didn't really feel like writing a whole set of protocols just to do that when there are some libraries that I can use with the ESP32s which build a self-assembling mesh, um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Anyways, I got these from EZSBC. Uh, they're like 11 bucks a piece. They also have a set of, um, they have a screw terminal board that I'm going to use because they're about 10 bucks. And instead of having a custom board built, at least right now, to do testing, I will use these screw terminal boards to get things working and then figure out how I want to mount these on a custom board. But um, anyways, I've got... So this node right now is plugged in. This is... Let's pretend that this is my uh, big node that I have running on CMRI under the Arduinos right now that you've seen in other videos and on my GitLab page. Um, so this would be the one that behaves like a CMRI node that's attached to the computer and JMRI. Um, this one here, which is not plugged in, would be one of the remote nodes somewhere out on the layout in the network. So let's go up to the debug screen here and I'll reset the base so we'll see it start up. If I plug in the other node here. Should see it connect in a bit. And there we go, we've got a new connection. And it says hello every few seconds from the other end. You see we got the new connection message up here and now it's talking. And there it says num nodes, that means there's one other node besides the base node in the network. And if I unplug it, the main node will realize it hasn't seen a message from the remote node in a little bit and say, hey, we've got a change connection and now there are no other nodes in the list. Um, this will allow um, plugging in, replugging of nodes that are out on the network um, without having to configure which ones are who. I'm gonna use the same kind of node ID of one, two, three, four, five, so that in the code we can say, hey, it belongs to this, but each node will be responsible for deciphering whether or not it needs to use a message. Um, what I'm using for the networking is um, a library called Painless Mesh. Um, I found it when looking for mesh networking. It seems to work really well. Um, I haven't really stress tested with more than two nodes right now. Uh, it will self-assemble into a nice little network uh, from what I've read. It can handle, it looks like it can handle hundreds of nodes from some of the implementations that I've seen. You know, out of my layout here, I will probably have maybe, you know, eight or 10 or 12. Uh, one for each interlocking or each two interlockings, depending on how I can set the nodes up. But this seems to be a pretty uh, directionally okay way to go. Um, hopefully I will have more updates uh, sooner than later. Um, I'm getting back into this, so we'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.